Our recent market performance makes some ask. Has capitalism failed? Capitalism has not failed, since this is not a free market. Corporate and state financial leverage, which is what makes our markets not free, has failed the people. The origin of this leverage is the central banks, the privately held and controlled Federal Reserve, and our largest companies and the competitive effects they have on markets. The more than ever, this is a call for free markets and populist financial oversight. Consider this. If our banks have less than zero dollars of reserve, as recently became true in spring of 2008, and they charge us interest, are we paying interest to nothing? Second, if inflation is greater than our interest rating, do we make money or reduce our debt by doing nothing? Our banks should be cut out as middlemen. A slave is cut out of the financial system as they have no right to their own work or the profit from it. Are our banks enslaved? Are we enslaved? Central banks and market leverage movers have attacked us to make our labor not produce profit for us and through this our economy to be destroyed for their profit. Who has brought us into this multiple uphill battle? The people? No! Albert Weisbord said this in the Communist League of Struggle in August 1934. 1. Capitalism is tremendously wasteful and destructive of men, goods, power, and land. The ultimate destiny of all useful goods is to be consumed, or as I say, to pursue the goal, whether it be consumed or not. Yet under capitalism, goods are not produced to be consumed, but for profit. And if a greater profit can be made by destroying the goods, the destruction takes place. And so we have war, as I say. See, for example, the warning of New York City Health Commissioner Wynn to the dairymen of New York that the amount of milk they were throwing away because of the low prices was so large as to kill the fishes in the river and clog up the sewers. We pay farmers not to grow crops in 2008. That's right, not to grow crops. While Egypt and ten other nations in the world experience famine riots and billions go to bed hungry every night. Vice Board says, while production is a social act, the appropriation of the product under the present system is individual. As capitalism develops, larger and larger factories are built, as I have called them the cement boots of capitalism, as they stifle change and tie us to infrastructure monetarily. Thousands of laborers cooperate in the production of a single article, yet the article does not belong to them, but to the owner of the means of production. The laborers are merely paid wages for the use of their labor power, wages which constantly grow less and less, sufficient part of the total product. And uh, basically he discusses here that businesses become big and corrupt. Is this a law of capitalism? That's what we're watching. Is that actual capitalism, or is it leverage on a free market? It's leverage. A free market is not a coerced business system. While the productivity of man is unlimited and increases geometrically, the markets are limited and increase as linear. Later do not increase at all and even decrease. This is the same story, but this is the symptom of this market corruption. Competition among the capitalists, and the greater the tendency to lower the rate of profit, the greater the competition between these capitalists and the lower the wages of workers, the larger the army of unemployed and those whose wages do not bring them a quality of life. So you see, he says at the end, But finally, we can conclude by declaring that the larger amount of wealth, the nearer we are to world wars and revolutions. This appears to be tearing America apart right now, but not the capitalists who remain owners and will relocate. We have become engaged in a peaceful loss and a violent loss in China and Iraq. What lays between them will become more important to us. 
This was written in 1934, but the lesson is dramatic in the world today. Hmm.